translator for the blind, from photo text to braille. The student display, on the spot, will translate any book or text from a photo into braille. A device that uses artificial intelligence can also be used by blind people to learn a language. The prototype was developed by young engineers from the Polish Krakow University of Technology. According to the university, a braille display with a character processing and text recognition system was developed by Bartlomie Sustak and Hubert Orlicki from the Faculty of Electrical and Computer Engineering of the CUTAS. Part of their diploma thesis. The device uses image detection and alphabet teaching functionality. It contains a camera that collects a real-time image of the text to be translated. With the support of algorithms, e.g., the artificial intelligence, AI, then displays a set of pins that translate the image into Braille. The translated text is displayed from left to right on the Braille display according to the relevant rules. The small display box hides numerous modules, combined into an efficient mechanism. The heart of the device is the Raspberry Pi microcomputer. A camera and a PCA controller are connected to the microcomputer, which allows you to connect the servo drives necessary to set the sliding belts in motion. The stripes arrange the pins in the correct order that a blind person can read by touch. Artificial intelligence is used in the OCR, Optical Character Recognition, system. The text recognition system is based on the Tesseract OCR engine. The device program was written in Python version 3.x, using OpenCV, Adafruit, and PySimple GUI auxiliary libraries, explains Hubert Orlicki, co-author of the display. The rest of the device includes cord storage wheels, guiding rods, sliders, cords and tensioners, i.e. mechanisms used for precise positioning of passes. They were designed in Fusion 360 and printed using 3D printing. The student project cost only 1,000 Polish Swatis, about 250 United States dollars, and is already at the sixth level of technological readiness, TRL. A cheap prototype of the device is already being developed, so that it can reach a wider group of users. The creators want it to become a cheap device for independent use by blind people. Initially intended for the Polish market, they estimate it takes about two years. In the future, it could be used by people from all over the world. It would be enough if the device was properly configured and equipped with additional Braille characters. We used only four characters to create a low-budget prototype and test the concept. Now we know that our idea works. Ultimately, we want to expand the keyboard to a larger number, e.g. 12 to 16 characters. We also want to transfer all functions, operated by an external keyboard in the prototype, inside the device, so that a blind or visually impaired person can comfortably use it on their own, announces the co-author of the project, Bartlomie Sustak. According to Hubert Orlicki, wider use of AI algorithms could solve the issue of image geometry accuracy, so that the text recognition engine, OCR, would be able to cope with different geometry and shape of objects, e.g. food products from which the image is read. Young constructors would like, for example, to improve the design and ergonomics of the device, extend its capabilities so that it can read PDF formats or scan food labels. Engineers from CUT also analyze the possibility of translating websites in the form of displaying the main content in a way similar to reading newspapers. After appropriate improvement, the display would not only be used in everyday situations, it could also be used in libraries, schools and kindergartens, in all places where reading braille letters is taught.
In this type of facilities, for example, the function of displaying any word or letter on the device would be useful. We decided to focus on the needs of the blind. Our project can make their everyday life easier, as well as help in learning, studying and intellectual development, says Hubert Orlicky, co-author of The Solution. The authors noticed that the problem with access to literary works and textbooks concerns a huge number of people with visual disabilities. It is estimated that only 1% of them have access to books and textbooks. Books in the world have been translated into Braille. Meanwhile, as determined by students, according to WHO research from 2019, at least 2.2 billion people have been diagnosed with visual impairments, including 39 million people who have lost their sight completely as a result of diseases or injuries. A cockroach robot that can survive being stepped on by an adult. Despite weighing less than a tenth of a gram, the robot created by engineers at the University of California, Berkeley, can withstand the weight of a 60-kilogram person who steps on it. Such a construction may find application in the rescue in the future. The researchers who developed the tiny robot were inspired by cockroaches and their amazing abilities. The result is a robot that can easily survive being stepped on by a human. In tests, one member of the engineering team tried to destroy the robot with an aggressive stomp, but the robot came out unscathed. If you step on a cockroach, you'll have to move your foot around a bit. Otherwise the cockroach may survive and escape, said Liwei Lin of UC Berkeley. It's the same with our robot, which really is like a cockroach moving on the ground. If someone steps on our robot, even with an extremely heavy weight, our robot will still survive and continue to function, he added. The description of the robot appeared in the journal Science Robotics. The prototype robots consist of a slightly bent rectangle of a thin sheet of polyvinylidene fluoride coated with a flexible polymer and two bent legs. They are 3 cm long and weigh less than 0.07 grams. The devices can move up to 6 times as much weight, for example, a single peanut. The way the robot moves is completely different than similar small robots. An electric current delivered through a thin wire causes the robot's body to contract and expand in rapid succession. During these movements, the front leg hits the floor surface and helps propel the robot forward. The speed of movement is up to 20 centimeters per second. The constructors of the robot anticipate further work, primarily on improving the control of the direction of movement of the device. But soon it will be possible to use them to inspect pipes or sewers. It can also be used in rescue, wherever it is difficult to reach. During earthquake rescue operations, it is difficult for machines or dogs to navigate the difficult terrain in search of survivors under the rubble. For that, you need a small robot that is agile and durable, said Yichuan Wu, a member of the team that developed the robot. The mysterious journey of a herd of elephants through China in 2020, a herd of Indian elephants went on a long journey. The animals have since walked about 500 kilometers from their home in the forests of southwestern China. No one knows why the elephants decided to go on a journey. The journey started in March 2020. The herd of 15 individuals set off from Xishuangbanadai Prefecture, located in Yunnan Province, near the border of China, Laos and Myanmar. Since then, wild elephants have marched 500 kilometers north of their natural habitats. 
There are about 300 wild elephants in southwest China. However, a similar migration of such a large herd has never been observed before. On June 9, 2021, elephants were spotted taking a short rest just outside the city of Yuxi. During the journey, one male separated from the rest and is now alone, 12 kilometers from his kin with whom he set out. There are about 300 wild elephants in southwest China. However, a similar migration of such a large herd has never been observed before. On June 9, the elephants were spotted taking a short rest just outside Yuxi City. During the journey, one male separated from the rest and is now alone, 12 kilometers from his kin with whom he set out. Elephants have won the hearts of many people, especially since their journey is widely reported on social media. On the other hand, not everyone welcomed the animals with joy. The individuals were destroying agricultural fields. The herd also broke into a liquor factory, which is said to have caused one male to get drunk, tired, and left behind, so he's now on his own. According to China's Xinhua News Agency, the herd wrought a total of 412 cases of havoc, damaging 56 hectares of farmland and causing more than $1 million in damage. Chinese authorities have invested considerable resources in tracking the migration of the herd. In total, it is monitored by 510 people, 14 drones and 110 vehicles. If necessary, roads are closed and elephants are directed to undeveloped areas. Authorities are concerned that elephants may be aggressive towards humans. Many innovative solutions have been used to attract animals away from cities. For example, last week, the services left corn, pineapples and other delicacies on the route followed by wild elephants. Thanks to this, it was possible to lure the herd deep into the forest, away from human habitations. The event attracted the attention of thousands of internet users. A handful of influencers, seeking fame on social media, even went to the site and collected the remains left by the elephants. Indian elephants are considered an endangered species and are under strict protection in China. The population of these animals lives mainly in the southwestern part of Yunnan province, which borders Vietnam, Laos and Myanmar. In the 1980s, the number of individuals was drastically reduced. However, thanks to the efforts of the authorities and nature conservationists, it was possible to rebuild their numbers to about 300 individuals. Experts warn that the species is still threatened with extinction. The example of a mysterious herd migration shows how human-made infrastructure encroaches on elephants' natural habitats and forces them to search for new territories. Scientists have revived organisms frozen for 24,000 years years. Rotifers are unique multicellular organisms in many respects. Scientists already knew that they are very hardy and can survive in drought, frost, lack of food or low oxygen levels. Now they have managed to bring roller skates back to life, which last 24,000 years ago. Spent years in the Siberian permafrost. Rotifers are multicellular animals that are so small that they can only be seen under a microscope. Scientists know more than 2,000 species of them. In a study published in the journal Current Biology, further secrets have been revealed. Our research provides evidence that multicellular animals can survive tens of thousands of years in cryptobiosis. A state of almost completely stopped metabolism, says Stas Malavan of the Soil Cryology Laboratory in Pushchino, Russia. Malavan's lab specializes in finding microscopic organisms in samples extracted from permafrost in remote regions of the Arctic.
Scientists have previously been able to identify many microbes trapped in the ice. In 2018, nematodes were found frozen from 42,000 years, which after heating began to show signs of life. Now a team of researchers has added multicellular rotifers to the list of organisms with an extraordinary ability to survive. Seemingly, they can hibernate indefinitely. Previous research has suggested that B. deloid rotifers can survive frozen for up to 10 years. Thanks to radiocarbon dating, it was determined that the animals excavated from the permafrost are about 24,000 years old. Once thawed, the animals were able to reproduce through a process called parthenogenesis, virgin birth. Studies have shown that rotifers are resistant to the formation of ice crystals that form during slow freezing. This suggests that they have some mechanism to protect their cells and organs from damage at very low temperatures. The conclusion from our findings is that multicellular organisms can be frozen and stored for thousands of years and then brought back to life. It sounds like a dream come true for many fantasy authors, says Malavan. Of course, the more complex an organism is, the harder it is to keep it frozen. And that's not currently possible with mammals. However, the discovery that multicellular organisms can be frozen in this way is a huge step forward, argues the researcher. It is not yet clear what enables organisms to survive in the ice. This issue requires further research. Scientists say they will also continue to study samples from the Arctic in search of other organisms capable of long-term cryptobiosis. Experts hope their findings will help us learn more about how to refrigerate cells, tissues and organs from other animals, including humans.